All she needed was me. All she needed was me. Add a Clippers game on the court side. Watch a nigga shoot like a 4-5. What's up guys, it's Nuru. Today I have a great video for you guys. And today we're gonna talk about school. So I've talked about school in a few of my older videos and you guys probably know that I'm not the best student. I mean, there are a couple of situations when the teachers are in the wrong, but you know, I'm 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 not gonna blame them on 100% all the time. You know, I know I'm not the best student. So personally, school is a love-hate relationship. You know, you can love it because you get to see your friends every day. You get food, even though the food at my school is literally cancerous but on fridays we get pizza so that's an upside other than that though everything that you buy from that school is literally aids back on the goods list though you have a few teachers that you enjoy to be in the company of you know school is not all bad honestly i just want to join a lobby like i didn't know it was that hard to find a lobby uh, on next gen on, let, let's try this again all right safeguard there we go that's more like it. But on the bads list of sides, you know, you have your good side, you know. The stuff that I just listed is actually what I consider to be good about school. You know, friends, teachers, food, all that stuff. But then, once you get to the bad side, it's literally horrible. You know, you have those teachers that literally don't like you just because you're you. You have those teachers that literally like you just because you're you. But it's that annoying type of like, like they're always on your nutsack and you can't really do anything, get away with anything. And they're always worrying about you. And then you just have those teachers that just have, they, they don't care about life. They honestly don't care about how you feel at all. They could care less about your emotions about anything like right off the bat you'll do something wrong you get an automatic detention but honestly at my school you know it's kind of even doubt that you have those few teachers that you just absolutely love and you also have those few teachers that you just absolutely hate and knowing me we're going to be talking about the teachers that i just absolutely hate i feel like that was a really long intro to get to like the point of this actual video so a few of the teachers i hate you know particularly there's one in my spanish class well that that made no sense there's one teacher in my span well i have a spanish teacher and and, uh, you know, she, she can be kind of a, uh, she can be kind of a whole hoe. I mean, I mean that in the best way possible. I'm not just gonna flat out disrespect her on my channel, knowing that, uh, 90% of the people that actually watch my videos that I make a video about actually finds out about my channel. Like that, uh, Britney girl that I made a video about? Yeah. She found that video. She watched it. I think she enjoyed it. I mean, she says that I exaggerated on a few things, uh, which, who doesn't? Luna. I mean, she said I exaggerated on a few things, but, you know, I'm I'm fine with that. I'll, I'll take that L. But anyways, yeah, I'm not just gonna flat out disrespect her just because it's my channel. I mean, I could if I wanted to, but, you know, I have a little bit more respect for myself and for my teachers than that. I, at least I think I do. So I told you guys before about this teacher, but I didn't really say her name. I'm not gonna say her name in this video because she's probably gonna find some type of way to sue me and just ruin my parents entire financial situation yeah so we're, we're not just gonna we're not just gonna bash her like that so most recently if you guys don't know what a demerit is a demerit is pretty much what white people call a warning except that with these warnings there's like certain things that you can and can't do like uh like for example after like five demerits i think you get a detention then once you hit 10 demerits you get suspended and then after five or again you get another detention or something like that you know it's a really complicated system has to do with a lot of math numbers everything goes in fives though so like i said at the beginning of the video i'm not your average best you know student that does everything that he's supposed to do then again what student does do everything that you're supposed to do so um yeah i have about 19 demerits if i get one more i get suspended so i'm gonna have to be on my best behavior for the rest of the year because my parents have no idea how many demerits i have i mean i think they know i have more than 10 but uh i've never been suspended yet i think i talked my teachers out of suspending me for my 10th demerit so that one didn't really count but i do know that i won't be able to do that again so i'm pretty sure this next demerit my uh my butt cheeks are grass and right off the bat you know i knew that no, I would have had to be on my best behavior, but I'm, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. It happened again in the exact same class. So I'm walking into Spanish class. I have about 18 demerits on my belt, like I told you guys. Like I said, I'm already not the best student in the class. I feel like she already came in the class irritated. Like you could tell by the way she unlocked the door and everything. Like she did everything mad. So she opened the door just angry. And I already knew it. I, I don't know why I just decided to test her that day. But I already knew that she was angry and that uh, she didn't have any patience for any of my crap. So right off in the kickoff of class, what normal teenagers do before class, you know, have a few words between their peers. So I'm talking, 
And uh, my teacher, she tells me to stop talking. So I look at her. I listen. Don't get me wrong. I'm not just going to blatantly just disrespect her. Just look at her and just start talking again. That's some disrespectful stuff. I don't have the balls to do stuff like that. And then she's starting to get on everybody in the class for not being prepared for class. And nobody had their Spanish book that day. I mean, some people did. But the majority of the class didn't have their Spanish book that day. And then she said the only way you would have been able to lose it is if you didn't care. I mean, which is pretty obvious because literally nobody in that class cares for anything. Like, I'm not even lying. Nobody in that class cares. Like, everybody legitimately does not care about that class. So one friend in particular actually, like, told her, like, she had no idea where her book was. And that made her angry. Like, she, she was mad. Like, I thought she was about to cry or something. She was pissed. Like, she was angry so she was angry and then my teacher asked the last place where she had her book and she said in the classroom then i asked her if she checked the classroom i don't understand why my class literally laughs at almost everything i say it'll be the most corny stuff but they just laugh and i feel like that's why i get in trouble by so many teachers because i have a huge influence on my class and like apparently i'm like the leader of the class or whatever everything that i say literally gets blown out of proportion and everybody just laughs at it so i just asked her you know did she check the classroom and and the entire class lasts for no reason, honestly. And she tells me to get out. And uh, I felt like I didn't deserve to go to the office. So uh, I chilled in the hallway and started watching YouTube videos on my cell phone. And uh, she went down to the office to see if I was there. And uh, I wasn't. Yeah, I got a demerit for that. I could have gotten two demerits because she kicked me out of class. And I didn't go to the office when she told me to. But uh, she chilled and gave me one surprisingly but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to leave a like subscribe and a comment down below and this has been your boy naru peace